from Albuquerque. There were no flights, so he drove. And he got here in the, what was that, the second inning, I think? I'm not sure. Second or third inning? Uh, but the offense is still not where it right. needs to be. Okay, so after nine games, no, it's not. Um, do you just simply ride it out knowing that you have professional hitters that are going to Well, run, yeah, or we do you to, start we juggling got, things? We got to ride through, we got to, we got to ride through uh, you know, the storm right here. Uh, you know, the guys that we feel are our best hitters are at the top of the lineup. With Charlie and Nolan and Trevor and David, right? Uh, you know, without... Uh, without Mac and Murphy, you know, two guys that we project to be in our lineup. Uh, you know, I think the whole group, you know, not just the bottom of the order, the other, you know, the other guys, everybody has to contribute. And that can be done. I mean, we just got to do it. And we, and we haven't so far. What about John Bridge having the use of his <clears throat> Yeah, a lot of curveballs that have good. I thought uh, he got a lot of outs with it. He got some swing and miss. He got some strikeouts. So uh, that was good to see. You know, John predominantly a lot of times is fastball slider, uh, but today mixing the curveballs does get some. For the bright spot for the offense tonight was David Dahl. Uh, it seems like he's kind of been in the bright spot early on for the season. What is he doing that's working on? Well, again, he's taking good swings. I think the, you know, he's aggressive in the strike zone. Uh, you know, he seems ready to hit from the get go. And he's squaring up the ball, right? I think the other guys, you know, are trying to. You know, do the same thing, obviously, but it's not happening. We're just a little a, a click off a, a number of players, either a little bit late, a little bit early, but David's on time. When you talk to hitters about, you know, what's going well when they're when they're hitting is being on time. Being on time on the fastball, recognizing the off speed, taking a good swing at that as well. Um, John had a little trouble in the sixth inning with the, uh, with the triple by Bellinger. Overall, though, it seemed like there were some times where he'd have some traffic out of the 50s. Well, you know, two double plays in the first two innings was, was good. He kept the ball on the ground. Uh, you know, the first thing they, you know, they bound, they bounded some balls through, and then he got a double play ball from Belgium on a 3 0 count. That was a good, good pitch. He had a green light. Uh, second inning, same thing, uh, another double play from Verdugo. You know, he, he kept us, uh, you know, kept us close. You know, we couldn't mount anything against Bueller, but, you know, they, they got him a little bit late, hit by pitch. Uh, Turner, and then uh, Bellinger hit a ball in the corner. Uh, Pollock hit a little looper. You know, they, they strung some at bats together. And that's what you do when you score runs. Right? You just bring some things together, get guys on base. Uh, he got a big hit in the cap. The Canada's next time up. Verdugo, a couple big hits late. Kind of a couple insurance runs. So, you know, they, they stayed on. They stayed on a little bit throughout the course of the game. And the follow up with the, at, at a time when offense isn't going well, as Drew said. Dahl, just the at bats that he's given you. Did, did you see a maturity level in him that you know he could be one of those guys? Well, we that saw that, we saw that last year from David, right? There was a stretch where you know the second half of the year he was one of our you know bigger contributors. So you know it's in there with David. So that's why you know obviously you know going into this year we felt very strongly about him being a you know major cog you know in our lineup you know from the get go. So with David, I think the you know the challenge is to you know stay stay on point, uh, be ready every night to play, uh, you know let his talent show, and we'll and we'll go from there. But, you know so far so good in, in nine games for David. Tony had got two runners um, caught stealing and uh, early on in the game. How key was that to to keep him? Well, Tony's a Tony's a good defender. He's got he's got probably one of the quickest releases in the game. You know, the exchange, uh, you know, from glove to hand and throw, uh, quick as they come. And today, uh, pretty accurate. A little bit up the line, but, you know, made some good plays there at second with, with some tags. But, you know, that's Tony's strength, I think, is his athleticism behind the plate. You know, how he moves, his quickness, his hands. Uh, former infielder, obviously, converted to a catcher, you know, a number of years ago. But that, you know, his strength is in his exchange and getting the ball out, out of the glove quickly with a, with a quick arm stroke. It's not, you know, it's not a, <clears throat> you know, what you would call a powerful velocity throw, but it's quick and most times on target. So, you know, good for Tony. Good for us. I mean, he, he helps stop the running game. Well, sir, uh, this is Juan and I'm from South Korea. So I'm uh, curious about how, how is Osunga the picture of uh, status and condition? Yeah, uh, Sung Wong's doing great, uh, a good clean inning today for us. 
Uh, he's going to be a contributor uh, out of our bullpen. We talked earlier this afternoon about, you know, what it's going to take from our eight-man bullpen. It's going to take them all, you know, doing their thing. And, and so on, we feel is going to be a, a major part of it. Thanks, bud. Okay. Thanks, Thanks bud.